In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can access tens of thousands of royalty-free images for use on your website directly inside CSS Hero. So let's just jump into WordPress, take a look at how we can access those and how we can start to use those in our design. I am Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be looking at CSS Hero. Now, if you're unfamiliar with CSS Hero, as its name suggests, it allows you to get in there and edit the CSS of your website without the need to get in and hand code. If you want to hand code, all those facilities and tools are built into it. Now, I've covered this in a lot more detail, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below so you can check that out if you want to. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can start using Unsplash, which is a free stock image library directly inside CSS Hero. So to start working with CSS Hero, we just click this blue button at the top of the dashboard. That'll open up the interface, which is kind of similar to what you get with the customizer in WordPress, but this is specifically for just working with CSS. Okay. So let's just go through and just choose an element. So for this example, I'm going to just click anywhere on my design. And if you take a look at the bottom, you can see it shows me all of the sort of tags, everything that allows me to go in and select different elements on the page. At the moment, we've got HTML, HTML body, wrap, and main, and so on. If we click on one of those, it'll just select whichever one we click on. Once we do that, we've now got this panel on the left-hand side that allows us to do a range of different things. What we're interested in for this example is the background section. So we click to expand background. You can see we've got a range of different options in there that allow us to control colors and apply different colors to this and all different kind of cool CSS-based effects. However, if we come down to where it says image, we can click on there and you can see one of the first things it does is open up the tab for Unsplash. Obviously, if you don't want to use that, you can go to your uploads and anything that's been uploaded to your particular copy of WordPress will be accessible in there directly from your media library. However, we're interested in Unsplash. Now you can see it shows us a range of the latest uploaded images on Unsplash. We can go and take a look at the oldest. We can go and take a look at the most popular. We can also simply come in and just search for something. So let's just say we want to have something to do with grass. So we'll do that. Click on the little icon to allow us to go and search and that'll show us all the images that have that particular keyword associated with them. If we find something we like, for example, let's take a look at this one. Say I like that. We can click on the little magnifying glass and take a larger look at it if we want to, or we can click to add that directly in. So we can see this will show us the image. We click apply image. We can see then we've got the option to choose the size. Now this is dependent upon the size of the image that's uploaded to Unsplash, but I would recommend making sure that you choose an image that's not massive, but also has decent quality. So if I give you an example, if I choose extra small, you can see it's a tiny little thumbnail in there and it's been repeated. So let's just scroll down and we've got options in here for how we want this image to be displayed. You can see we've got auto, which is what's currently selected. We can do things like cover, we can do things like contain, and we can also do 100%, 100%. So we click on cover, for example, you see that now covers the space that we've got available to us. If we take a look at the image, it doesn't look too bad, but if we choose a better quality one, it'll load that in. You can see we get a much better quality image. Now, obviously, you're looking for a fine balance, but choose what you think is going to be the best for you. If we open up the code editor at the bottom, you'll see there's all the HTML code automatically being associated with the different element we've just chosen. In this example, the main uh, div element. You can also see that the image is being referenced directly from Unsplash. Now, this is being optimized to make sure that you get a good experience, but I would recommend testing it out and taking a look at what it's like using one of the, the, the websites that allow you to go and speed check, so like GT Metrics or something like that. But this is a really cool option. If you like it, like I say, you can hit Apply. We can come back into the properties, and we can just close this down from the bottom, open that back up, and now we can go through and do things like position the image where we want, so you can see we can go to any of those positions, making sure that we get the exact part of the image that we're happy with. You've then got options, things like you've got blend modes, which is pretty cool. You can expand that out. So if you're stacking different images on top of each other and you want to create a pretty cool effect, you've got a whole range of different tools in there or different settings. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, then you're going to see there's lots of different settings in here that are identical to what you'd see in Photoshop. 
little question mark that'll give you some help on that if you're stuck you can also come down and control exactly what the background attachment does at the moment you can see it scrolls with the page we can come out to there and we can say we'll set that to be fixed it'll position itself to make sure it works well within the design and now you can see we get this sort of parallax kind of effect where the background is locked in place and everything moves over the top of it so pretty cool really easy to work with and something that's included as standard with css hero version 3. And that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you think it's useful. If you do think it's useful and something you could use, let me know how you think you could use it in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation going on this and what you think of CSS Hero. Speaking of CSS Hero, if you don't already have it and you're looking to purchase it, please consider using that affiliate link in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it does give a small percentage back for every sale to the channel to help us create more great content for you. Well, as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the, the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content to the channel. And until next time, take care.